You have to be really careful out there. You do. We've had sex con- six rather consecutive days of <laughs> today. Just- okay. All right. That was a Freudian slip, but we're going to pretend like we didn't hear it. <laughs> Most cheating spouses wait till they need to scratch that seven-year itch. But some infidelity can occur even before the wedding cake has been cut. What's this? A bride and groom who just can't wait for their honeymoon to begin? Now that's the bride, all right, but the guy she's with is the best man. This shocking footage was captured by a surveillance camera on the grounds of a hotel during a wedding reception. Ah, now comes the groom looking for his lovely bride. Here comes the bride, and there goes the best man. And the groom? He doesn't suspect a thing. This is one bride who definitely shouldn't be wearing white. It's foul. It's so foul. Hey, are they real or not? Are they real or not? No. They're not real. No. She said they fake. Oh, they look fake. real. Who, who paid for them? Yeah, who paid for them? My dad. Your dad? My <laughs> dad paid for them. There we go. Y'all killing me with this. What's one thing you wish men understood better about women? Cat calling. It's not. It's not There's appreciated. A There's a difference from being creepy and then just trying to charming. Like, yeah. Few moments later. Well, this guy right here is mad sketchy. You ain't gotta worry, girl. I won't kidnap you. You mad ugly. Oh. Uh. You gotta worry, girl. I won't kidnap you. You mad ugly. This is a certified hood classic. You about to fuck to this day. To this day. Who is better at self-improvement, men or women? Women. Self-improvement, women. definitely women. Okay, rate yourself on a scale of one to ten. Tens well, across the board. Ten. Oh, period. Okay, isn't saying you're a ten admitting there's no room for improvement? No. No, no. not at all. Isn't the first step towards improvement admitting you're not perfect? You're right. Yes. Yes. Too short. What's my favorite word? What's my favorite word? Cream. Guzzler. Why they gotta say it like short? Cream gobblers. What's my favorite word? Cream gobblers. Perfect. We just said we, we were tens. tens. That doesn't. You didn't say that being on a scale of one to ten, ten being perfect. Fact. Well, 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 what would be what would be perfect then? On a scale of one to ten. There is no perfect, really. According to the book of the Cream Goblin Exodius, Scripture Thoughtaladians, it states, if she has colored hair. And the longer her nails, and the longer her lashes, my brothers, the more body she touches. There's this saying, and scientific studies, that a woman's brain matures faster than a man. What does a man got to bring to the table to be with you? Money and good dick. How much money? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Like a hundred thousand. I like the rich scammers. What do you bring to the table? Myself. Here's what I have to say to that. That is a bunch of bullocks. That statement, woman maturing faster than a man. That is a statement that I have been questioning for years. Hi. Hi, I'm, <clears throat> I don't know what your topic is tonight, but I just, How I guess. Hmm? How old are you? Guess. Don't play with me. Guess these nuts. Will your mouth still remember the taste of these nuts? These nuts? <laughs> Got it! The problem with many modern women today is that they price themselves as a five-star meal, a sizzling filet mignon, but in actuality, these girls are barely even a single french fry, a piece of corn on a cob. Because dating for a girl 35 years and younger, they'd be like, oh, I don't need a man. What? An independent woman who don't need no man. But dating for a woman 35 years and older. Here are a list of things I expect men to do in marriage. 
Okay. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. So that's like the rent, the water, and like the electric. You know what I'm saying? And then if we have a home, like the property tax and the mortgage insurance, all that good stuff. Number two, to do most of the cooking. I cook, but I don't really like to cook. So it's really a plus when I meet a guy who is really good at cooking. And there are actually a lot of men that are great cooks. Number three, the dishes. Um, I don't like doing the dishes, so it would be great to have a man <laughs> that just took that chore off of my hands because I don't like to do the dishes. Number four, do the laundry. And when I say do the laundry, I don't just mean like put the clothes in the wash. I mean like the whole process. Put the clothes in the wash, put the clothes in the dryer, put them up, iron what needs to be ironed, fold what needs to be fold. Like do the whole thing from A to Z. Number five, take out the trash. I don't like to take out the trash. Number six, any yard work or housework. Now, he doesn't necessarily have to like fix it. Wow. Number seven, upkeep the car. So that includes any tire changes that need to be made, any oil changes that need to be made, um, putting gases in the car, making sure the cars are washed, like the whole process of upkeeping the cars from A to Z. Um, number eight is date nights at least twice a month, but that actually goes into like any form of recreational activities. So if we're going kayaking, if we're deciding to take a camping trip, if we're deciding to go to a theme park, <laughs> dates and or recreational activities per month. And number nine, an annual honeymoon. Um, I do want to be one of those couples that takes a honeymoon every year in a different location. I think that's super cute. So definitely an annual honeymoon and then a separate family vacation. Um, so that's two big trips per year. So a honeymoon and a separate family vacation. And yes, I expect for him to pay for it. We don't give a fuck! <laughs> Jesus! We don't give a fuck! They'd be like, I'm tired of men. What happened? Where did all the men go? Is it possible to improve without taking accountability? No. Yeah, no. no. You have to be self-aware yeah. and accountable for it. What's the last mistake you took accountability for? Um, damn. The last mistake I took Probably accountability for? Always being late. Always being late. My cheek slang disciples in the Hoology Book of Secrets section for the ladians. It states, these girls are entitled scum bags. See the red hair? Red hair equals red flags. These girls don't have much to offer. You treat these girls like cum rags. My disciples, these are the types of girls that I have suck my willy. And after that, I slap that bitch silly. Okay. Why, uh, why is it often said that women are notoriously late? Because we could it take a long time to yeah. good, yeah. boo. Yeah. This young lady, this cream gobbler, says she's a 12 out of 10. 10 across the board. But yet, she says it takes her hours to get ready just for her to be presentable. And she hides all her insecurities and flaws behind that mask filled with makeup. Sweetheart. I think you calculated your math incorrectly. Tans across the board. It's more like she's a 12 minus H, which is four, which equals for the streets. Welcome, punch. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. And fellas, watching TikTok videos about female nature is single-handedly destroying every man's desire, his lifelong dream of getting married, one video at a time. One, like a dream come true. Care. And gentlemen, I've been in the cheek slang trenches. Guess what? You gonna have sex with me. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. I've seen a lot of beautiful women, but they are three things that I have never seen. Number one, a UFO, an unidentified flying saucer. Two, a woman who is beautiful on the outside, just as in, who is emotionally 
and psychologically attractive and stable. And three, the last thing that I have never seen is a bitch that I need. We really can't provide nothing but pussy. Come back. On the, at the end of the day. That's, that's true. Okay, so then how come when you ask a woman what she brings to the table, that's not her answer? Because they're not being true to themselves. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um, so why do women complain about being sexually objectified when you think that the, the JJ is pretty much all they're bringing? That's a good question. Wow. Um, next question, Stephen. You don't Whew! Shout out to the It's Complicated channel. This brother, this man, has probably never lost an argument in his life. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. In the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. That's it for today's video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. And if you really enjoyed this video, I made you laugh. Don't forget to hit that thanks button and support the channel. Fellas, I'm out of here. I don't know how much longer I can hold this.